With population booming across Utah and Colorado and levels lowering in the Colorado River, Utah is facing a water crisis, one that will take years to remedy. ABC 4's Ali O'Rulian live in studio with more on what the state is doing to address a growing population and a shrinking water supply. Ali. Almost a third of all water in Utah comes from the Colorado River, and 60% of Utahns benefit from it. That's according to the Utah Division of Water Resources, who say with the low water levels in lakes and reservoirs across the Great Basin, we're at risk of losing our state's most reliable water source. The Colorado River, a sprawling natural resource states across the Great Basin rely on for water, but days are getting hotter. The river is getting drier and the demand only continues to grow. We are facing a crisis that shows no sign of getting any better. Leon Kalankowitz, the scientific director of Numbers USA, recently helped publish a new study on Colorado's rapidly growing population and its effect on the Colorado River. Increasing population, increasing water demands from an increasing number of water consumers in Colorado and every other state and the seven states that comprise the Colorado Basin uh, is putting ever greater demand on a resource that is actually shrinking. The Colorado River is split between seven states comprising of the Upper Basin, Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming, and the Lower Basin, Arizona, California, and Nevada. Utah is allocated 23% of the water appropriated to the Upper Basin states, but 23% of a shrinking river may not be able to sustain our projected growth. The Utah Division of Water Resources says Utah's population will double by 2065, and years of drought have taken a toll, especially on the Colorado River. With the low water levels in Lake Mead, Lake Powell, Great Salt Lake, uh, other lakes and reservoirs across the West, there's no question that um, there's risk out there, that, that the river will not produce what it has produced historically. The Utah Rivers Council saying due to climate change, water levels in the Colorado River have dropped 20% in the past 22 years and are expected to keep lowering. Sometime in the next few decades, perhaps earlier, Colorado River could bottom out at a 40% drop in flows. This water is used throughout Utah, and it's not just for watering your lawn. For many Utahns, it's our drinking water. Our dependency on the Colorado River is huge. Most people don't understand that. But watering our lawn is what experts say residents have a problem giving up. Despite Utah being a desert state, the Utah Rivers Council says our cities are obsessed with green ornamental grass, with 70% of city water usage going towards green lawns, and it adds up. Utah's cities, our municipal residents, are America's number one highest municipal water users per person. Experts say there are many ways to start conserving water, like reforming agriculture systems to use less water, as it currently uses about 80 to 85 percent of the water in our state, according to the Utah Rivers Council. Solutions also include reducing carbon emissions, building homes on smaller lots of land, reducing outdoor water use and more. Washington County is the fastest growing community in Utah. It's highly dependent on the Colorado River and is a recent example of aggressive water conservation for new communities. All grass is essentially banned um, now, so they have to put in all zero scaping. So the city's still requiring really nice, beautiful landscaping. They just can't have those really high end water use plants. Measures also include developing a large scale regional water reuse and recycling program inside buildings, offering rebates to remove existing laws and improving technology for water optimizing agriculture. But experts say aggressive conservation needs to be happening across the state because as Utah continues to be an evolving and growing state, our systems, legislation and mindset about conserving water need to evolve with it. We need to be conscious about every time we interact with water and recognize that we can and have to do better in how we efficiently use our water. This year, we are seeing more aggressive water conservation legislation, and experts and officials say Utahns are doing better conserving water. And this water year was slightly better than last year, but it will take years of good snowpack and conservation to get us out of this drought. If you're interested in ways to conserve, like taking advantage of the state's lawn rebates, you can find information on our website, abc4.com.